Hey everyone, and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I am Chef Z, and today we're going to discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of this lonely planet, Cuba Bug. For anyone who's thinking about traveling to Cuba, I'm pretty sure you've come across this book. So I did want to give you guys an update and share with you my experience um, when it came to this book and backpacking across Cuba. So if you want to learn all about this book, then just keep watching. If you've done any research on traveling to Cuba, then you know that this book has popped up a few times. And the reason is, is that this book is an awesome starting point for anyone looking to travel to Cuba. I mean, it gives you information on where to eat, where to stay, how to travel, how to get around, pretty much everything that I'm doing in this Cuba Trip Tip series, this book also does as well. And while this book is an awesome starting point, there are some pain points about this book and I'll go into that in a little bit. So starting off with some of the good things is that this book's does give you some recommendations on where to stay. It does give you some recommendations on Casa Particulares. Now, the downside about that is that now that you can book your Casa Particulares on Airbnb, is that you can go on Airbnb yourself, look at the photos and interact with your host, whereas you couldn't necessarily do that with this here. Another great thing about this book is that it does give you histories on the different provinces and the different cities. And the book is actually outlined by different provinces. So there's like a Havana section, there's a Santiago de Cuba section, uh, there's a Trinidad and Cienfuegos section, like pretty much this maps out all of Cuba and maps out like what are some of the must-see museums, the must-see sites, and also gives you walking tours of that as well. One of the best things about this book was the Havana map that comes included in the back. Uh, that was great because I literally just gave it to my host in Havana and she was able to pinpoint a lot of the places that she felt that I should visit. And some of those places were not even in this book and I'm so happy that she recommended them as well. Um, I do encourage you guys to talk to your host if you're staying at a Casa Particular because they have some insider knowledge that isn't necessarily in this book. Now, another great thing about this book is that it does give you points of interest. So it tells you how to get from city to city. So it tells you, you know, about the buses. It does give you some websites. Um, it's just a great thing to just hit the ground running. Because again, you know, when my boyfriend and I need to figure out like, you know, what hotel are we going to stay at and how can we book it? We literally uh, went into this book and looked at the recommendations because we didn't have Wi-Fi available. So Again, this thing really, really does come in handy. Um, now, I will say this. This book was published a long time ago, and then it was updated in 2015. And things in Cuba are changing so rapidly, and even our policies as they pertain to Cuba are also changing very rapidly. So there are some things in this book that are slightly outdated. Now, if I have to say, like, what's the percentage of things that are outdated in this book, I will say max 20%. It's more like 10, 15%. And the reason, and that's, that's no fault to Lonely Planet. Like, I do want to, like, just put that out there. It's just the nature of the situation where things are just changing so fast that, again, some of the stuff in here is just outdated. And here's an example. So this book does a really good job at giving you recommendations on where to eat. But when you show up to those places, some of those places are not there or some of the places know that they're in this book and have jacked up their prices, have changed their menus. So you kind of get a different feel. And again, I do encourage you guys to either eat at your Casa Particular because the food will be bomb because it was for me at least. And just, you know, ask them, where do they recommend that you go and eat? Um, when I was staying in Havana, my host told me about this little cafe called El Vampirito, uh, Little Vampire, and it was awesome. And that was not listed in this book. It was also a fairly new cafe. So that goes to show you. And you'd be surprised to learn how many restaurants have opened opened within like the last six or seven months. Um, so aside from some of the things just being slightly outdated and the whole restaurant situation uh, being a little bit differently, like that's just like one of the major pain points when it comes to this. And also the places that are in this book, 
Like they know that they're in this book because they tend to be tourist traps and you don't want to be seen carrying this book around depending on where you are because that could actually work against you. Like in certain situations, like you don't want to just like stand out as like an uber tourist and then you have like the lonely planet um, because everyone kind of does. Um, but that's that's really not a big deal. That's just, I guess, how you prefer to kind of travel. Um, but yeah, and I will say lastly, one really great thing about this book, and I don't know if you guys will care, but I'm a nerd at heart and I really loved that they gave you history lessons and gave you a history background in a lot of the different cities, the museums. Um, Cuba is a place that has a lot of museums and they really do care about history and the intellectual. So it was a great it was a great match like to bring this book and like you know to have some background especially because you can't just like open up your phone and google something this came in handy so if you're thinking about traveling to cuba and you're on the fence about whether or not you should get this book i definitely say get it it's a great starting point and you won't be sorry guys thank you so much for watching made to order a la orden if you have any questions on any of the cuba trip tip videos that you've seen here on my channel feel free to hit me up on social media or comment down below let me know if there's a topic that I've missed that you want to know more about because I'll be more than happy to either answer your questions or make another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back next week when I have an all new video and some cooking stuff and some delicious stuff. All right, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho.